Hey guys, so today I've come on here to do my December daily, but before I start, I want to show you um, a gift that I had from my mum as an early Christmas present, and it is this chip bag. Now, as you can see, it's quite big. It's a backpack, it is, and it's pretty big. It's from Primark, and I absolutely love it. I have documented it in on one of my days for my December daily but I just wanted to show you it is absolutely stunning I am in love with this my children however are not so impressed because obviously I'm 31 and they think it's ridiculous but I love it look at it a chip backpack anyway let me just get on now with my December daily so the last day that it was on was day nine I'm pretty sure so day 10 was just everywhere had snow every absolutely most of the UK had snow and this is the snow I had as you can see barely anything I was absolutely disappointed that's my back some of my back garden with the leaves and the minimum snow I've ever seen ever and it disappeared it was just gone completely gone so that was that then day 11 um, I just die cut like a snowflake out and put some glitter glue around it. Um, it was just Owen was off ill, so I decorated it with Santa's belt washi and a gingerbread. Um, and I just wrote that he was ill and I took him to the doctors. Then this day's a pocket. Um, I did attempt to draw something, but it's really, <laughs> it's really, really bad. Um, do I want to show it? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it, I messed up miserably, and that's the problem with drawing in felt tip pen so I just put them in there to cover it then day wait there day 12 day 13 this is my chip bag my mum gave me as an early Christmas present oh my god I'm in love with it I swear you don't understand then day 14 is just something Courtney brought home she had her just from the geography teacher just to say that you know she's pleased with Courtney with her work behavior effort and progress and obviously I just want to document that I'm proud of all my children but it's extra nice when you know the teachers let you know they're doing that a little bit extra in school and I've just covered up the school badge and the school name there um but the washi ain't normally there so then day 15 which is today I wanted to share with you my children's first Christmases now if you don't know, I have three children. I have Michael, who's 13. I have Courtney, who's 11. She will be 12 in February. And I have Owen, who's nine. Now, Michael's first Christmas was in 2004. And it was just, I had to document these pictures because that was his little reindeer suit. And as you can see, it is such an adorable suit. It had Rudolph red nose on and everything. And he was only seven weeks old for his first Christmas. But these were his Christmas outfits and I absolutely loved them. So that was Michael's first Christmas in 2004. Then Courtney's first Christmas was 2006. Now she was 10 months old and um, a put miracles happen when you believe because we got told that Courtney would never walk. Um, she had like uh, mobility issues and things like that and they said they doubt she'll ever walk because her muscles were so weak. Um, but she did, obviously, she walks, so she's fine. Amazing. Um, nothing wrong with her now, touch wood. And so I, th I put that because in this photo, she couldn't really sit up properly. Even though she was 10 months, she couldn't sit up really unaided. And this was Michael's car that he had for Christmas. And he was trying to support her in one photo. I didn't put in here, but he literally had his arms round her throat to try and keep her sat up, bless him. And this was her first Christmas and this was Christmas morning and I just love this picture because they've both got their cosy pyjamas on and it was just, I don't know, it's just so cute. Um, Michael in his little sports Toy Story car with Courtney sat there not looking impressed, bless her. Then Owen's first Christmas, I know this is the 16th but I done the weekend ahead because obviously... No, this would be the 17th, sorry, I've got the dates mixed up. This would be the 17th. I'd done the days ahead because obviously... Um, might be busy this weekend so this was Owen's first Christmas and he was eight and a half weeks and we spent his first Christmas at Butlins and this was him on Christmas and he had his little Tigger suit on and I've cut it out but he had a reindeer toy as you can probably see a little bit there but yeah so that was his Christmas and then I absolutely love this photo this is day 18 I'm, I'm a couple of days ahead um, and this was 2012 when we went to Butlins they were my boys they're asthmatic and they they suffer quite um, a lot actually with their health and they were both so ill we arrived in Butlins and the first thing I had to do was take them 
to the local doctors because they're breathing and everything. They were just so poorly. Oh, and bless him. He's pulling that face there because his nose kept running all the time and his nose was really sore, bless him. And it was just, I don't know, I just absolutely love these pictures. And I thought I'd share with you their first Christmases because obviously my children mean the world to me. And it's just something nice to document in my December daily. I know obviously it's not 2017, but it's something nice to put my children's first Christmases in here to keep looking back. You know, so from 2004 till now, um, there will be obviously Christmas Day, there will be an updated photo of my children uh, from 2017. But that's all I've done so far, guys. So I hope you like it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, even if you just give a thumbs up for my amazing chip bag. Yes, I'm still going to bang on about it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to have to try and wear it without the kids with me, though, because they said it's cringy and embarrassing if I wear that out. So, you know, I'm 31, but they said it's not meant for someone my age. You'd think I was like in my like 60s, 70s, the way they bang on. But anyway, guys, so I hope you have a lovely weekend. Um, and yeah, take care, guys. Bye.